Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you all? How are you, everybody? How do you feel today? Fine. Fine. Oh, fine. Okay. Very good. Welcome. Bienvenidos. Welcome. It's good to see you one more time. Es bueno verles otra vez. It's good to see you one more time. Okay, we have Jessica Lourdes connected, Wendy, Jocelyn, Nelson, Nancy, and Ember, right? Yes, we have like six, six participants connected. Okay, so welcome. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Um, just, just to take to take advantage, para tomar ventaja del tiempo. Solo quiero hacer una pregunta. Eh, ¿Alguien de ustedes tomó el, hizo la tarea y tuvo problemas? Porque él me dijeron que algunos que habían tenido problemas, ¿verdad? Yes. En mi caso, teacher, lo de resolver con el que no, nos dio la compañera. Ahí resolví el tema de, la, de las últimas dos oraciones que no podía completar. Ok, perfecto. ¿Alguien más que haya tenido problemas así? Porque yo lo hice para ver cuál era el problema que tenía, ¿verdad? ¿Alguien más que ah, haya tenido problemas? Igual que, igual que no leí bien la indicación que es el que teníamos que poner el punto. That's important. Entonces, por eso me habían salido malas. Ok, perfecto. Ok, alguien, ok, so Jessica y Amber, it, it was ok. Now you solved the problem. Resolvieron el problema, you solved the problem. Abigail, Jessica, Nancy. ¿Alguien más que ha tenido problemas? ¿O it was ok? Eh, con la indicación que dio Brenda, no hubo ningún problema. Ah, ok, perfect. Perfect. So Brenda was on the right moment, right? <laughs> Brenda was Good there evening. on the right moment. Good evening, Juan Carlos. Welcome. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, pues sí, porque yo, bueno, de hecho yo lo tomé para ver cuál era el problema. Y sí, el, el detalle es que... Había que, obviamente, una oración empieza con inicial mayúscula. So we had to use capital letter. Teníamos que usar inicial mayúscula al principio. Y al final de la oración, no olvidar el punto, porque siempre al final de una oración siempre va a punto. Es una regla gramatical, ¿ok? It's, it's about grammar. Es acerca de gramática, ¿ok? So eso era lo que les pasaba. Creo yo, quizás a algunos se les olvidaba el punto. Quizás otros no ponían la mayúscula al principio o le daban tres espacios. Okay, maybe that was the problem. Okay, tal vez ese era el problema. That was the problem. En mi caso, teacher, el problema fue de que el apóstrofe no aparecía tal y como estaba en la, en la, en la oración. Ah, ok, pero lograste resolver. Sí, inventando un poquito, pero sí logré resolver. Lo tuve que hacer del teléfono porque la computadora no daba la misma, el mismo signo, digámoslo así. Sí, sí, es diferente. Hay que tener cuidado, con, eh, bueno, mayormente con esta clase de ejercicios que son de escritura, porque, cuando, porque la plataforma, cuando uno hace el vaciado de información, eh, lo verifica tal y como uno va, eh, mete la información. Es decir, así como, no, no lo hago yo, ¿verdad? No meto yo la información, sino que la persona que mete la información, eh, la plataforma la revisa tal y como esa persona la mete. No, no, hay, no hay como margen de error, digamos, en la, en la oración. Debe ser exacta. No deben equivocarse en ningún punto, ni en una letra, ni en un, 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 un signo de puntuación. Todo debe ir exacto para que quede bien, ¿ok? Para que tengamos cuidado la próxima vez. Pero gracias a Dios que lograron, que lograron resolver, ¿verdad? Thanks God. Gracias a Dios. Así que todos lograron resolver entonces. Nadie tuvo más problemas con el ejercicio. Nobody had problems. Están hablando de la tarea de ayer, teacher. Yes, exactamente. <risa> No la he hecho. Mm -hmm. <risa> yeah, it's okay. Pero mañana. La voy. Ok, solo, <risa> solo entonces para que los que no la han hecho, para que tengan cuidado de lo que estamos hablando, porque el, es, los ejercicios son de ordenar unas oraciones. Okay? Cuando las ordenen, tengan cuidado con la apóstrofe, que sea ah. una, realmente un apóstrofe, de poner el punto al final de la oración, porque si no lo ponen, se la va a revisar como mala, la mayúscula al principio. So that's very ah, pues, important. Okay? Sí, ya la había hecho y me salía mal. Ah, ok. Así, lo, bueno, entonces lo, lo puedes tomar otra vez, Loida. Y ten cuidado con eso, con lo que te estoy, con lo que te estoy hablando, ¿ok? Ok. Yeah. 
Ok, perfect. So let's start. It's time to start. Es momento de empezar. So, um, ok, thank so, you. Good evening, everybody. Um, good evening. Good evening. Ok, good so, evening, uh, so welcome to this English class again. Bienvenidos a esta clase de inglés. Welcome to this English class for work. All right, of course. And um, for today we have like five or six activities, all right? That's what we have for today. And for today, we will study the simple present, but we will study third person singular. Vamos a estudiar tercera persona. He, the pronouns he, she, it. Positive and negative, okay? Yesterday we studied I, you, we, they. Ayer estudiamos el I, el you, we, and, and they. All right, so today we will study a, a, he, she, and it. Yeah, in the simple present, in el presente, simple. So uh, let's, uh, let's start. Empecemos entonces. So listen, just to start, para empezar, just to start, um, I want you to think, think, okay, think about some activities you and your colleagues do at work. The idea is to apply the grammar from yesterday. La idea es apl aplicar el tema gramatical de ayer. Van a pensar en actividades. So think of activities about you and colleagues. Acerca de ustedes y sus colegas at work. Okay? For example, I can say in my, in my work, in my work, I can say in um, at work or at school, all right, I give classes is one activity I do. I give classes, I attend students, um, I, I make or I create lesson plans, los guiones de clases, I create lesson plans and I can continue, right, puedo continuar. Ah, my colleagues, mis colegas, my colleagues, I can say in plural because yesterday we studied plural too. Ayer estudiamos los plurales también. So I can say, um, Rosita and Elsie, Rosita and Elsie um, give classes. Rosita and Elsie give classes. They are my colleagues, right? They are my colleagues. I can say, Macklin and Marvin check email. I continue and I say, um, Nia Rosita and I, Niña Rosita, or I can say Rosita, Rosita and I, Rosita and I give classes. Nosotros, right? Rosita and I, Rosita y Rosita and I give classes. And I can continue. Macklin and Marvin um, attend students. Or Macklin and Marvin, um, uh, let me see, are in charge of discipline. For example, right? Just to give you some examples. So think about some examples or some activities you and your colleagues do at work. Piensen en algunas actividades que ustedes y sus colegas hacen en su trabajo. Yeah? All right. So only think. Don't write. No escriban esta vez. Only think. Solo piensen. Only think. I give you two minutes to think. Le doy dos minutos para que piensen. Two minutes to think. I repeat, activities you and your colleagues do at the workplace, at the company you work.
para los que se están agregando, uh, right now, uh, you are thinking about activities you and your colleagues do at the workplace, okay? Activities you and your colleagues do at the workplace, yeah? Okay, let's see, let's start. So are you ready? Are you ready? At least maybe you tell me one or two activities, right? I just need to listen to your activities and your colleagues' activities. All right, let's see, uh, volunteers? Do I have volunteers to share? Any volunteers to share? Teacher, ¿y lo vamos a decir en inglés o, o en yes. español? Yes, in English. It's about activities you and your colleagues do. The idea is that you do it in English, not in Spanish, right? In English, all right? Yeah. So volunteers? Hi, teacher. Okay, let's see, Jocelyn, and then who said hi, teacher? Can you hi, teacher? Who said hi, teacher? Okay, so first Jocelyn and then Amber. Okay, Jocelyn, let's listen to Jocelyn. Okay, wait a ver. Yeah, <laughs> Check, check production. Okay, perfect. I check production. You can say, I check production. All right, thank you very much. All right, let's see, Amber. Uh, my colleagues and I attend person. Attend? Person. Persons, okay, or you can say people better in plural. Attend people, all right? My, my colleagues and I attend people. Okay, thank you, Amber. That's pretty good. Any other volunteer? So thank you, Jocelyn. Okay, let's see Jessica and thank you, Amber. Okay, Jessica, go ahead. Okay. I attend family. I review reports. Oh, that's excellent. That's pretty good. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. You see you can do it. Ya ven que pueden hacerlo. You see you can do it, right? So any other volunteer? Teacher, maybe say my colleague and I Lunch, 11 o'clock. Yes, Jacqueline. Uh, but maybe you can say, my colleagues and I have, would have, have lunch. Have, have lunch. lunch at 11 o'clock. Okay, repeat the example, but say have lunch. Repeat it. My colleagues and I have, have lunch. Have lunch, 11 o'clock. At 11 o'clock. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent. That's pretty good. All right. Anybody else? Any other volunteer? Okay, let's see Brenda and then we listen to Luis Ricardo. I clean the windows and door every morning. Excellent, that's very good. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see Luis Ricardo. My calling and I, we design electrical program. Oh, and... nice. Repair, repairs, industrial equipment. All every right. Day. Okay, excellent. That's very good. Just one suggestion, Luis Ricardo. Your example is it's okay. Uh, if you say my colleagues and I, you don't say we. All right. Only my okay. colleagues and I design and design. repair. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Good example. Very good example. Okay. Last participation. The last participation. Okay. Let's see. Wendy Noemi. Wendy Natalie. Sorry. Uh, my colleagues and I teach class every day. Oh, that's excellent. That's very good. Okay, you are the teacher, right? <laughs> All right, thank you, uh, Wendy, Natalie. So thank you for your participations. And for the ones who didn't participate, anyways, de todas formas, today, you will write activities you do at the company, all right? Ahora van a escribir actividades que hacen en la compañía, de todas formas. You write activities you do at your company or at your workplace, yeah? All right, uh, right now I will pass the attendance. Ahorita le voy a pasar asistencia y luego continuamos con la siguiente actividad. Okay, let's see, um, Ana Abigail. I'm here. Brenda. I'm here. Edgar. I'm here. Thank you, Amber. I'm here. Hazel. I'm here. Thank you, Jacqueline. 
I'm here. Jefferson? I'm here. I'm here. Jennifer? Oh, Jennifer is not connected today, right? Okay. Maybe she had a problem. All right, let's see number nine. Jessica Lourdes? I'm here, teacher. Juan Carlos? I'm here. Loida Eunice? I am here, teacher. All right, Luis Alejandro, I think it's, yeah, he's connected. Uh, Luis Ricardo? I'm here. Maria Elena? I'm here. Nancy Yvette? Nancy? Nancy? Oh, she's, the audio is connected, but she's there. All right, let's see Nelson. I am here, teacher. Okay. Gwendy, Natalie? I am here. Uh, Roxana, sorry, Roxana. Roxana? Okay, she's, she connects a little late, right? Uh, Yesenia? Yesenia? And Jocelyn, Joanna? I'm here. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, perfect. So listen, um, uh, in this moment, uh, I want you to write. This time you will write. Van a escribir. You will write. So on your notebook, on your notebook, you will, you will write five activities you do at the workplace, okay? Van a escribir cinco actividades que hacen en su lugar de trabajo. For example, I will give you my, my, my activities at my workplace, right? For example, I can say, um, I do lesson plans. I attend students. I listen to students. I upload videos. And I take attendance. Tomo asistencia. I take the attendance or I pass the attendance. Five activities. Okay, so in this moment, you write five activities about you at the workplace. Yeah, okay, go ahead, adelante. If you have doubts, you can ask. Si tienen dudas, you pueden preguntar, you can ask, okay? All right, let's take like four or five minutes and write the activities, please. Four or five minutes and write the activities. Five activities. Is it clear what you have to do? Está claro qué van a hacer? Is it clear what you have to do? Este, disculpe, teacher, el audio me estaba fallando, no lo podía escuchar usted ni, ni usted a mí. ¿Me puede repetir la indicación? Perdone. No, no, solo estaba pasando asistencia. I was passing the attendance, pero ahorita la indicación la escuchó para la actividad. Ajá. ¿Escuchó la indicación? Sí. No, no toda. Ah, ok, so, in this moment, in this moment, um, on your notebook, on your notebook, you will write five activities you do at the workplace, at your workplace, yeah? Va a escribir cinco actividades que hacen en su lugar de trabajo. For example, in my case, I can say, I check email, I do lesson plans, I pass the attendance, and five activities, right? So you write five activities about you, de de diferentes compañeros, de diferentes comp no, colegas. No, about you, about you, acerca, ah, de, okay. acerca de ti, about you. Okay. Yeah, Gracias. okay, Gracias. perfect. Gracias. Yeah, it's okay. Teacher, ¿cómo se escribe? How do you write? Eh, documentos. You can say files, files. F-I-L-E-S, F-I-L-E-S, files. Thank you. All right. <laughs>
Are you having any connection problems, Roxana? Sí, teacher. Creo que ahorita sí ya, ya me pude conectar. Ah, okay, perfect. Yeah, I can see you. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. Tell me, Loida. It's a um, it's okay. Uh, say I develop documents that ask for the minute. No. Uh, yeah, maybe you can say um, I create or I develop the things that develop is like desarrollar. Mm -hmm. um, what mm -hmm. you, what you mean is que hace documentos que requieren minet. Eso es lo que quieres decir. That's what you mean? Mm -hmm. Que me maybe. pide, ajá, que me pide. Yes. Maybe, maybe you can say, I write, I write documents Teacher. that Minet asks. I, I write documents that Minet asks. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you can say, I, I create, I create, de crear. I, I create documents ajá, pero de that esa Minet forma... asks. Uh -huh. ¿Y por qué develop sí, no está correcto? Si es desarrollar. Ahí tengo le, no. esa duda. Eh, I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say develop. Yo, yo, bueno, sinceramente yo no diría desarrollar documentos porque desarrollar es más como implementar. O no sé si estás refiriéndote a implementar. Ahora también. To implement. Sí. That, that, well, that's what I think. Eso es lo que yo pienso. That's what I ah, think. Ah, no, no, no. Eso ah, es que ese, esa, ese concepto de desarrollar, cuando usted lo estaba diciendo, me generó confusión porque ajá, para mí es create, ajá, también, pero... Ajá. Entonces, es, I create. Se, suena mejor, sinceramente. Ajá. It sounds better. Uh -huh. okay. I create documents that Minet asks. Nancy, did you have a question? Yo elaboro mis guiones, dice, para que elaboras my script. Este, sí, teacher. Adelante, Nancy. Disculpe, a mí se me hace difícil los verbos porque yo los desconozco. Ok. O sea, para mí la clase, yo, yo la creí un poco más simple, pero yo la siento bien compleja. No, no, it's ok. It's about learning. Así vamos a ir aprendiendo. Igual nadie nació aprendido. Ah, yo, Todos vamos en un proceso. Los verbos. Ok. Uh, what verbs do you need? ¿Qué verbo necesita? What verb do you need? Nancy, what verb do you need? ¿Qué verbo necesita? What verb do you need? ¿Qué estoy tratando? Ahí me corrige en el momento. Muchas ah, okay. gracias. Okay, perfect. Okay. It's okay. Teacher. Yes. How do you say sanitizante? Sanitizer. Let me, let me write it. Let me write it. But let me make sure first, pero déjame asegurarme primero. Let me make sure. But, but I think it's sanitizer. I have seen it. But let me check. Let me check in my dictionary. <laughs> okay, let me see. Sanitizer. Okay, let me see.
teacher. Yeah. How do you say cuentas por cobrar? Cuentas. Cobrar. Cuentas por cobrar. Let, let me think for a moment. That's difficult. Oh, uh, it's uh, for uh, Loida. ¿Quién fue que preguntó? I think it was Loida or Brenda. Ahorita de hand. You say hand sanitizer. Let, let me share. Hand sanitizer. Like this. Aquí te lo voy a escribir. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Now let's see cuentas por curar. Let me check. Let me check first. Thanks. All right. Okay. Teacher, can I recommend date some? Yeah. Something? No, no sé. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sí, que I yo tengo un cuadernito que agarré de mi hijo, que yeah. estoy solo escribiendo vocabulario porque qué difícil tanto vocabulario nuevo se me va la piscucha. Yeah, it's Entonces, okay. Entonces, también pudiéramos tomar esa idea solo yeah, para of, eso. Of course, por supuesto. De hecho, yo lo hacía cuando yo estaba estudiando inglés. I did it. <laughs> Es buena, muy buena idea. Thank you very much. Thank you. I have, this is new for me. Esta es nueva para mí. Yo, I am learning too. También estoy aprendiendo con ustedes. Accounts receivable. Cuentas por cobrar. Accounts receivable. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Yeah, it's a good idea. La idea del cuadernito para vocabulario, it's a great idea, okay? When I was studying English, I had a notebook too for vocabulary. También tenía un cuadernito para vocabulario. And examples, okay? Y también escribí ejemplos con ese, con ese vocabulario. I had examples with the, with the vocabulary. So it's a good idea. It's a buena idea. It's a very good idea. Teacher. Yeah. Eh... ¿Cómo eh, sería yo hago? I have, no. No, no. But, no. but do what? ¿Hacer qué? Eh, por ejemplo, yo hago reportes. Ah, then you can say I, I make reports. I make reports. Make. M-A-K-E. Make. Yes. M-A-K-E. Sí, es que... Ok, thanks. All right. ¿Y por qué no es I do? Good question. I like that, I like that question. Uh, I, 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 the thing is that make is more like for fabricate, para elaborar algo. Y do es como más abstracto, diría yo, creo. Like do some activities, for example, like more general. And make is like more like for doing things, for, for an action specifically, for a specific action. Es como más una acción más específica con más fabricar o, o de hacer algo. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's why, por eso, that's why. I think. All right. Okay, I give you one more minute. Vamos a dar un minuto más, one more minute. Ay, perdón, tanta pregunta. No, it's okay, go ahead. Entonces Adelante. es como, hay, hay yo pupusas. Porque no. es una acción de hacer. No, no cuando hacer. es una acción que decimos make, make. Cuando es una acción es que decimos ah, make, okay. make. I make pupusas. Es como fabricar, como elaborar. I make pupusas, all right? Okay. Pero para reportes, si no se quieren confundir, mejor bien entonces, I write Reports, que es un verbo que se, que se usa mejor para, para hacer reportes. Yo escribo reportes. I write reports. And it sounds better. Suena mejor. It sounds better. Write de escribir. I write reports. Teacher, pero aunque sea en la computadora. O sea, no los escribo, sino que los... Yeah. 
Yes. Ajá. The same, lo mismo. Los dígitos, ajá. ¿eh? Yes, it's about writing. Siempre se trata de escribir. It's about writing. <laughs> okay. Thanks. All right. Uh, so, because of time, we will stop here. Nos vamos a detener aquí. If you have three or four activities, it's okay. No problem. All right, listen. Now, using the following question, now please stop. And using uh, this question, I will show you one question here. Uh, using the question, what do you do? Uh, oh, let me see here. This one, what is your daily routine? This question, what is your daily routine? ¿Cuál es tu rutina diaria? What is your daily routine? And you will say the activities you have. Van a decir, cuando les pregunte, van a decir las actividades que, que han escrito. For example, if you ask me, si me preguntan, okay, teacher, what is your daily routine? Ah, I say, uh, I do lesson plans, I pass the attendance, um, I upload videos, um, what? I do PowerPoint presentations and I continue, right? So I say my activities. So please, in, so the question is, what is your daily routine? What is your daily routine? That is the question for practicing, okay? What is your daily routine? So please, so it's activities you normally do on a day. So in this moment, we will go to breakout rooms and take turns for practicing. Tomen turnos para preguntar y escuchar a los demás. Take turns for practicing, okay? So let's go to breakout rooms and let's practice, okay? Let's make breakout rooms and let's practice right now. Some calls every day. I destroy useless parts every Monday. I supervise a, I supervise the daily report. Uh, I interview a resource human in months, etc. 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 Okay, uh, where is your daily routine, Edgar? I build. I check product, I, I seal, I deliver merchandising, I visit the 14 departments. Okay. Eh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> <laughs> Hoy pregunta Brenda. Um, ay, se me perdió la pregunta. What's your daily routine? <laughs> What's your day routine? Lo siento, teacher. No lo había visto. It's okay. Brenda, perdón. Okay, uh, my daily routines. I clean the door. I fish every day. O sea, doy clases todos los días. ¿Está oh, bien? Okay. ¿Está yeah. bien, teacher? Ah, no, ya, Dios. ya vio quedándome en la cabeza. Vaya, usted, Nancy, le pregunta a Hazel. Okay. Hoy le pregunto a Hazel. Hazel, what is your day, day routine? I check email and answer. No he con Jessica. What is your daily routine? I I make reports every month. 
attend families and children, visit families uh, twice a month, uh, check the emails every day, evaluate the children, review budget. Jessica, todas las dijo de una sola vez. Ay. No, no, no guardo nada para no, decir. Bueno. bueno, y después voy a repetir otra, voy a repetir otra vez. Just uh, something, something quickly for Hazel Sarai. Uh, your example is okay, Hazel Sarai. Just one suggestion. Maybe if it's about emails, you say, um, you say I send emails, right? Or I... I review, I review uh, emails. No, no, I mean for, for Hazel. Okay. Yeah, Je, no. Hazel is the example. Yes, Hazel, can you repeat the example? I check email and answer. Yes, answer is okay, but for email, you better say reply. Es mejor decir reply, porque es responder, right? Responder correos. So you say, I check and reply emails. I check and reply emails. Yeah. Okay, Thank continue, you. continue, continue, please. <laughs> okay, by Jessica preguntándome a mí. Ah, uh, okay. Jessica, what is you? Pero no sé si eso estaba bien. Dejémoslo así. Por, uh, o preguntémosle al teacher, tal vez él nos corrija. Yes, if we don't know, we investigate. <laughs> le, um, no sé si le puedo compartir. Sí, sí, sí. Para, 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 no sé, y entonces. ¿Cómo se escribe según el diccionario? Santi, 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 Santi. Hola. Eh, vaya, sí, 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 está bien. Voy a faltar León. Y es que León. Tengo la duda, eh, eh, teacher, ¿cómo sería realizar eh, rutas técnicas? Realizar rutas técnicas. Maybe you can say, uh, es como planificar, algo así. Sí. Hacer como de, de, de planear, de planificar. Es de llamar, a, de como confirmar una visita y después según una orden, según en, eh, colocarlas en un orden logístico, en un orden logístico, un orden de, de visitas. Ah, ok. Then you can say, um, I make, the same, I make. The same I make, yeah, I make technical routes. I make technical routes. Uh -huh. Technical routes. Routes. Okay. Routes. Uh -huh. eh, teacher, ese, ese verbo make se puede utilizar para todo lo que sea como de crear o de... O de, o de hacer. There you go. Ahí, ahí. Ya vi, de crear, I... de crear. Exactly. Yes. Ya vi Lo... por teacher una, una explicación de que dice que el make es, eh, es el hecho de lo que se realizó como resultado de la acción. Ajá, entonces por eso hay make pupusas porque es la, el resultado de la acción de lo que hice. Y, y el do es la acción como tal. Oh, bien chivo esa explicación. Yeah, I like it. It's very good. So okay. you, you explained it better than me. Creo que está mejor explicado que como yo se lo expliqué. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, oh, pero estaba bien, está bien. Yeah. Ok, Jacqueline. In, you ask me the question. question, question, question. Eh, Loida, what is your daily routine? Okay. Um, I confirm why line service. I confirm why line mm -hmm. service. Sería la dirección. Sí. No. Yo confirmo servicios de línea blanca. Ah. ah. Eh, la, sí. White line service. Uh -huh. Y vamos a ver la otra. I receive product for repair. Product for repair. I, ah. I receive product for repair. 
Right. Recibo producto para reparar. ¿Alguien más? ¿Otra que tenga? Eh, yo ya las dije todas. <risa> yo también. No sé, si, no sé si tienen otras ahí que agregar. Um, Michelle, en este caso siempre sería I make. Yo hago control de productos. I make eh, eh, llamadas, calls, por ejemplo. Yes. Siempre sería I make. Yo hago. Yeah, I make. The, the things that do is like more for, more for activities. El do se usa más para actividades y para ejercicio. Mayormente es lo que más se mira. ¿Ok? El do. Por ejemplo, si hago gestiones de garantía sería I make brown Warranty management. Ya, yeah, ajá. Uh -huh. Management of guarantees. Management. Management of guarantees. Exactly. Management. Yeah. management of guarantees. Guarantees. Si, exactly. si contesto llamadas, sería I make answer calls. No, only I answer. I answer calls. I make, maybe if you Se want to say, visto. si quieres decir yo hago y contesto, I make an answer. Uh -huh. Phone calls. Uh -huh. I make ah, an answer phone calls. Answer, sí. Yo hago y contesto. Yo llamo y contesto. Okay. Ah, I make an answer phone calls. Ah, ok. En caso de facturas, I make a voice. Yes. Invoices. Uh -huh. Ah, invoices. Yeah. ¿Otra actividad? <laughs> I check. In What is your daily routine? I check emails. O tiene que ser I make. ¿Qué laboratorio es? Perdón. Farmedic. ¿Qué laboratorio es? ¿Cómo se llama el laboratorio? Farmedic. Esa es la meta. Operamos. Ah, ok. Mira, Alejandro. ¿Dónde están ubicados ustedes? Vale. Pero este realmente. Yo visito varios laboratorios. Aquí en el bulevar. Did you finish? Yeah, sorry to interrupt you. Finish. Eh, una pregunta, okay. teacher. One question. Ok, go ahead. Adelante, go ahead. Eh, para decir documentación sería papers. Papers. Yeah, you can say papers. Or you can sería say files. Or, or you better say files. Mejor decir files. Es más formal, files. Files. I, files. F-I-L-E-S. Files. Let me share here. Yeah, files. Let me share, let me share screen just to, to okay. write it. Let me see here. Like this. Files. Like Así this. sería nada más. Files. Yes. Okay. Files. 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 Documentos. Files. 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 Okay, everyone. Uh, sorry that I didn't give you more more opportunity to practice, but we need to continue with uh, with other activities, right? Um, um, just I, I was going out out of I was going out of a breakout room, and somebody had a question. Creo que alguien estaba me iba a hacer una pregunta cuando me salí de un breakout room. Era acerca de escribir o hacer correos electrónicos. Is write emails, okay? Write emails. I write emails. I think it was Roxana. Creo que era Roxana que iba a preguntar, me parece. I write emails. Yo escribo correos. I write emails. Okay. So um, now you have, you listen to your, to, your, uh, to your classmates' activities, right? Yes. And in this moment, in this moment, I want you to remember some of your classmates' activities. And tell me one activity, not about you, about a classmate, okay? Díganme una actividad, pero de un compañero, about a classmate, not about you, yeah? So, for example, I can say, uh, Roxana writes emails, all right? 
uh, or I can say, um, I don't know, I don't remember. Somebody, I think it was Brenda, I don't remember. Brenda checks production of the company. I don't know, I, I just to give you examples, okay? So please, can you give me some examples about your classmates? Ejemplos acerca de sus compañeros. So let's see, um, Edgar, do you remember one activity? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, tell me one activity about a classmate, acerca de un compañero, about a classmate. Okay, uh, Jacqueline uh, answer phone. Okay, Jacqueline answers the phone. Okay, thank you very much. Do you have another activity or only one? Uh, Jacqueline makes a uh, report. Okay, Amber, right? Amber, right? Yes. Okay, thank you, Amber. Thank you very much. So you have two examples. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, Edgar. Yes. Okay, tell me one activity you remember. Um, Brenda? Yeah. Supervisor office. All right, supervises the office. All right, thank you. Any other activity? One more, una más, one more activity. Um, Brenda maintains the office. Oh, okay, Brenda gives maintenance to the office. Okay, thank you very much, Edgar, very good. All right, let's see. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Hey, Sarai, tell me two activities you remember. Two activities you remember about a classmate. Jessica receives, receive, receive, no sé cómo se receives, receives, receives families and children. Yeah. Uh, Nancy work in her computer. Perfect. Thank you very much, Hey, Sarai. Okay, let's see a boy. Um, let's see Luis Ricardo. Two activities. Uh, Abigail checks email and answers call. Excellent. Very good. That's very good. One more activity. Uh, Wendy told your Teacher, uh, here. How how do you say alumno? Sorry. How do you say alumno? Ah, uh, student. Student. Ah, uh, student. Her uh, students. When when they talk, your student. Your or her? Not her student. Her with student. her students. Okay. Uh, her students. talks with her students. Okay. Thank you, Luis. Thank you very much. All right. Let's see the last one. Maria Elena. Uh, Loida supervise class, uh, make document to minute. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. I can see you remember. Okay, listen, and this, this is important because uh, you can speak and at the same time you can remember vocabulary. Okay, pueden practicar vocabulario. You can remember and practice vocabulary. All right, now uh, let's go to the next activity. In the next activity, I have a conversation. In the next activity, I have a, a conversation, okay? Uh, this conversation is on page 21, and it's this conversation. So please, can you see the conversation? Pueden verla? Can you see the conversation? Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah. So I will, I will pronounce the conversation twice. Se las pronunciaré dos veces. Pay attention to the pronunciation, please. All right? Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Yes. Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday... She makes many phone calls. 
Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She's so busy. And on weekends, listen again. Escuchen otra vez, listen again. And pay attention to pronunciation in this moment. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She's so busy. And on weekends? Okay, perfect. Uh, now, please check the conversation. Check the conversation. And pay attention to the words in bold. Revisen la conversación y pongan atención a las palabras en negrita. Pay attention to the words in, in bold. Okay, check the conversation. Take a moment. Tomen un, un momento y revisen la conversación. Take a moment and check the conversation, please. Pay attention to the words in bold. Okay, these words. Teacher, ¿qué significa busy? Busy. Busy is ocupado, ocupada, busy. Thank you. All right. Schedule is. Yes, schedule, algo así. Schedule. Schedule, <laughs> schedule is horario. Schedule. You say schedule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Schedule is horario. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Tight. Okay, her schedule is very tight. Tight is apretado. Okay, now please stop, stop. So now, uh, listen. These words in bold, estas palabras en negrita, ¿qué son? Verbs, adjectives, or what? What are they? ¿Qué son? Verbs. 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 Exactly, they are verbs and what, what what do you see as important here ¿Qué miran aquí como importante en ese en esos verbos what do you see as important la s al final s ah exactly we have a letter s and todos tenemos una letra s look makes writes sends arranges now another question uh, in yesterday's, in yesterday's topic, did we put an S? En el tema de ayer poníamos una S al verbo? No. no. No, no, right? No. But today we do. All right. So it's because we have chi. Okay, it's because we have chi. Chi. Okay, so when we have he or chi, we put S in positive. Cuando tenemos he or chi, Ponemos una S y hay unas reglas que ya las vamos a ver más adelantito. Ok, that's very good. Uh, now, please. I will go, um, I will scroll down. Voy a ir más abajito. Look, here, check this. Uh, on this chart, you have Katie's daily routine. Katie's daily routine. I want you to read the conversation and complete the activities or the routine of Katie or Katie's routine. So again, read the conversation and complete Katie's routine. Vamos a leer la conversación y vamos a completar la rutina de Katie. For example, uh, on Monday, what does she do? ¿Qué hace ella el lunes según la conversación? On Monday. She makes many phone calls. She makes many phone calls. Ah, she makes many phone calls. What else? Phone calls. ¿Qué más? 
reports about the production. Exactly. So you need to complete the chart. The production. With the production. Exactly. So you need to complete the chart with Katie's routine. Vamos a completar este cuadrito con la información o con la rutina de, de Katie. Eso está en la página 21. It's on page 21. Voy a dejar de proyectarles, ¿ok? Pero está en la página 21. Page 20. Métela en, ahí en esa cosa negra. Si quieren pueden hacer captura o pueden ir al material. Porque necesito estar viendo que están trabajando. I need to be checking. ¿Ok? So let's work. Trabajemos. Let's work. Uh -huh. Ah, no, no entendí. No le puse atención al... Ay, no. ¿Quién no entendió? Pudieron understand. <laughs> Yo... Es que no había fiado. No, no, pero ya vi la página. Yeah, que tenemos que poner las... Katie's la actividad de Katy, ¿verdad? Yes, Katie's routine. Okay. Exactly. So you read the conversation and you write Katie's activities or Katie's routine on the exact day. All right? Okay, thank you. Okay. Abigail, do you have any question? Okay, go ahead. Dice que, uh, Monday, uh, she make money phone, phone calls. calls. Yes. Uh, uh, Thursday, uh, podría ser later, she was about the production. No, I don't think so. I don't think so because later is like, what is later? ¿Qué es later? Después. Después o más tarde. Ok, later is después o más tarde. So late is the same day. Es el mismo día. It's the same day, Abigail. Day. Yeah, it's the same day. Ok. Teacher, ¿qué significa, yes, uh, ¿qué significa arrange? Which one? Arrange. 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 Arrange is like plan. Es como planear o agendar. Arrange. Arrange meetings, for example, arrange meetings. Arrange a meeting, agendar una reunión o planear una reunión. Arrange. Teacher. teacher. Yes. Teacher. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Eh, entonces, en, tenemos que completar todos los días o solo los días que, que mm. aparecen en la conversación. No, no. Only the days you have on the conversation. Ok. Solo lo que está en la conversación. Only the days on the conversation. Ok. Thank you. Okay, oh, that question is important. Esa pregunta es importante. That question is important, okay? So listen, basically, when you finish completing on the conversation, you have only three days, okay? Van a encontrar actividades solo en tres días, only in three days. So for the other days, think about activities that you imagine Katie does. Piensen en algunas actividades que ustedes se imaginan que Katie realiza. But it's not real information. It's only a prediction. Es solamente una predicción. Escriban al menos una actividad que ustedes creen que ella realiza. Right? At least one activity. For example, on Tuesday. Tuesday doesn't appear on the conversation. El, el martes no aparece. Tuesday doesn't appear. So use your imagination. And write one activity you think Katie does. On Tuesday, escriban una actividad que ustedes se imaginan o piensan que Katie hace ese día, ¿ok? Only one activity. The same for the other days. Lo mismo para los días que no aparecen en la conversación, ¿ok? It's about your imagination.
Teacher. Yeah. Uh, organize interpersonal. Organizes. Only put an S at the end. Organizes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Teacher, it's okay if I say Thursday check emails and responded. Uh, you can say uh, she, okay, she checks and reply emails. Reply is responder for emails. Reply. Yes, R E P L Y. Reply. So you say she checks and replies emails. Yeah. Let me write replies. Okay, thank you. The way I see for I got replies. Er, reply, like. Yeah. I had como el sonido, eh? Yes, replies. Right. She checks and replies emails. Ah. Le ponemos la S, pero el verbo original es reply, que es responder. Reply, reply que es responder un correo, reply. Pero como está mm -hmm. en tercera persona, le ponemos replies. She checks and replies emails, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. Teacher, o sea que eh, los verbos siempre van a llegar, van a llevar la S cuando son en tercera persona. Exactly. Exactly. Ya vamos a ir ahorita, ya vamos a entrar en tema. Ya, ya le voy a explicar eso en un momentito. I will explain that in a moment. Okay? Yeah, but you are right. Tienes razón, you are right. Teacher, maybe say reunion with production over result. Can you tell me the sentence in Spanish, please? Sería como eh, reunirse con la, con la producción y verificar o ver los resultados. Maybe como en una de... 
Maybe you can say uh, she meets. She meets with she the production meets. staff, con, con el personal de producción, tal vez. Uh -huh. Let me, let me, let me write here. Let me clear this. You can say she, she meets uh, with, with uh, the production staff, con el personal de, de producción, with the production staff, all right? She meets with the production staff. Yeah? Meet is reunirse. Meet. All right? Le ponemos la S siempre por lo que estamos hablando de tercera persona. She meets. She meets. With the production with the staff. Mm -hmm. Production. Production staff. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. All right. Teacher, uh, is correct say... Do works to meeting. Can you repeat it, please? Do works to meeting. Can you tell me the sentence in Spanish? Hacer reuniones de trabajo. Uh, maybe you can say uh, arrange. Arrange uh, work meetings. Arrange. In this case, you can say she arranges. Since we are using third person, you can say... Uh, She arranges, la palabra nueva, she arranges um, work work meetings, all right? She arranges work meetings. Ella prepara reuniones de trabajo. She arranges work meetings. Siempre la S por la tercera persona. She arranges. Yes, Amber? Yes. All you. right, perfect. Teacher. Yeah. Um, Se so puede decir, she prepares the payroll. She prepares? The payroll. Yes, yes, you can say that, la planilla. She prepares mm -hmm. the payroll. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Planilla is payroll, así como les acaba de decir la compañera, payroll, like this. She prepares the payroll, all right? Payroll. Profe. Yeah. What is the difference in arranges and prepare? Arranges and? Prepare. And prepare. Arrange is more formal. Prepare. Mm -hmm. prepare. Mm -hmm. Arrange is more formal. Like if if I want to talk about meetings, I better say arrange. Mm -hmm. Es más formal. Es como para reuniones. Arrange meetings mm -hmm. or arrange something important. Okay. Como mm -hmm. agendar algo importante o preparar algo. And prepare es menos formal. Is less formal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, you can prepare. A meal, okay. for example, mm -hmm. it's not something formal. Prepare some chicken, okay? Or make some chicken, yeah? Mm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, I'll give you one more minute. Un minuto más. One more minute and we finish with this activity. Give me a thumbs up if you finished. Them and thumbs up, los que ya terminaron. Give me a thumbs up if you finished. Okay, Luis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, thank you. All right. Almost half. Alrededor de la mitad, almost half. All right. Thank you.
First participation, Roxana. Primera participación, Roxana. First participation, Roxana. Second participation, Edgar. Participation number three, Jennifer. Participation number four, oh, not Jennifer again, Nelson. I have six days, tengo seis días, I have six days. Participation number five, Jacqueline. And the last participation, la última participación, the last participation, Jocelyn. Oh my God, only two boys. Solo dos chicos salieron, only two boys. All right. Okay, easy, right? All right, let's see uh, participation number one. Okay, let's let's listen to, so please stop what you're doing. Ya detengámonos, stop what you're doing. And let's listen, please. All right, let's listen to Roxana. So Roxana, um, what are Katie's activities on Monday? She makes many phone call calls. She writes reports about the production. Oh, excellent. That's very good. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see Edgar. Edgar, for, for number two, Edgar, you use your imagination, right? So let's see, Edgar, what are Katie's activities on Tuesday? Um, she, she documents the menting. She documents meetings? Menting. 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 What, is, what is menting? Yes. What is menting? ¿Qué es menting? What is menting? Eh, ella documenta reuniones. Meetings. Ah, meetings. All right. Maybe you can say uh, she, maybe you can say she take notes about meetings. She takes notes about meetings. All right. Only one activity. Only one activity. She, she is the mending. All right. Only one activity, right? Solo una actividad. Only one activity, okay? All right. Thank you very much, Edgar. Let's see number three. Jennifer. So, uh, Jennifer, um, what are Katie's activities on Wednesday? On Wednesday, Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. Okay. Only one activity, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. That's very good. She sent some emails to the bookkeeper. What is bookkeeper? Like an accountant. Like an accountant. Okay. Like an accountant. All right. Keeps control of the finance, right? Yeah. So he's a bookkeeper. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you very much. Let's see, Nelson. Nelson, for, for this one, you had to use your imagination. Debía haber usado la imaginación. Okay, Nelson. What are Katie's activities on Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. Uh, she arranges meetings. She arranges meetings. Okay, thank you, Nelson. She thank you. Meetings. She arranges meetings. Meetings. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Nelson. That's pretty good. Thank you very much. Excellent. All right, let's see number... Five, Saturday, oh, Friday, sorry. Friday, all right, Friday. Okay, let's see, for Friday, we have Jacqueline. Yes, Jacqueline. Okay, Jacqueline, what are Katie's activities on Friday? She's around meetings. She arranges meetings, oh my God. She, sí que, ah, sí que prepara bastante reuniones. She arranges a lot of meetings, right? <laughs> okay, thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, very good. Let's see, Saturday, Jocelyn, Saturday. What are Katie's activities on Saturday, Jocelyn? Uh, she makes re reports. She makes? Reports. Reports, okay, she makes reports. reports. Okay, thank you very much. And we have Sunday, right? Tenemos el, el domingo. Any volunteers? Voluntarios, any volunteers for Sunday? Okay, let's see Jessica. Okay. Um, it's Katie's it, Katie day off. Ah, oh, it's Katie's day 
Oh. Oh. Yeah, you know, she is so busy during the week. All right, she is so busy during the week. She has a tight schedule. So Sunday is Katie's day off, the free day. Oh, thank you, Jessica, for giving a chance to Katie to have a day off. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much for your participations. And um, well, listen, uh, for uh, in this moment, yeah, it's 9.15, son las 9.15, it's 9.15. I will give you the two minutes. Le voy a dar los dos minutos, pero algunos están tomando más de los dos minutos, okay? So please, take the two minutes and then you come back. Tomen los dos minutos y luego regresan, all right? So are you ready? So let's take two minutes right now, please. Came a little late, Jenny. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you sent me a message. I have. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. But I know, right? My name. Yeah, yeah, but I, I suppose that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I connect uh, eight forty-three p.m. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It will count as attendance. Okay. As mm -hmm. long as remember. Recuerden que lo que le va contando es eh, los minutos. Es decir, al final, para cada día yo pongo que, asist que asistieron, si asistieron obviamente, pero les ponen en un documento de Excel, les ponen tantos minutos, por ejemplo. En este caso, si, ¿a qué hora se entraste? Uh, a las 8.43. Entonces te va a parecer que ingresaste, que estuviste presente una hora y 17 minutos. Okay. Al final la idea es que, que, no, que, que, que no se pasen de, la, de, de lo indicado, ¿verdad? de lo establecido. Ok. But I know you, that you are always early. Yo sé que tú siempre estás temprano. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Only this time. <laughs> sí, espero que no me lo pase. All right, perfect. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time is over. <laughs> oh my God! I like the strategy. In the in the in the in the countdown, Very everybody rapid. was everybody was connecting on the countdown. All right, so I like it. <laughs> okay. So uh, I guess it's time to carry on. It's time to carry on. It's time to continue. And first I will pass the attendance, all right? Primero les pasaré asistencia y luego seguimos con la siguiente parte. Okay, let's see, Ana Abigail. Brenda? I'm here. Edgar Alexander? I'm here. Ember? I'm here. Hazel Sarai? Here. Jacqueline Iset? I'm here. Jefferson? I'm here, teacher. All right. Jennifer? I'm here. Okay, thank you. Jessica Lourdes? I'm here. Okay, thank you very much. Juan Carlos? I'm here. Thank you. Eunice? I'm here. Great. Alejandro? Oh, he's connected. Maria Elena? It's here. All right. Thank you very much. Nancy? I'm here. Good. Nelson? I am here. Okay. Thank you. Roxana? I'm here. All right. Thank you, Roxana. Uh, Wendy, Natalie? I'm here. Okay, thank you. Yesenia Marisol? She's not connected. And Jocelyn Joanna? 
Okay. I'm here. Okay, thank you very much. All right, listen, uh, for the next activity, I want you uh, to take a moment. I want you to take a moment and I want you to organize some sentences, all right? Please check these sentences. I will show you right now. Check these sentences. Okay, not these ones, these ones. All right, so please. Oh, no, not this one. Just hold on. Okay, so uh, please look at these sentences. I have four sentences here. So please uh, check the sentences and try to organize them, all right? Miren las oraciones y traten de organizarlas en su cuaderno. For example, what is number one? Number one is... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? She... Uh -huh. Y el mix, hace falta la S ahí. Ah, Por... thank you very much. All right, so please, organize the sentences. Organiza las oraciones. Organize the sentences, please. I give you two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Y eso no está en ninguna página del folleto. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's check quickly. Revisemos rápidamente. Yeah. Let's check. Let's check quickly. Yes, we have them on a page. Alguien preguntó si estaba en alguna página. Yes, we have them. We have them on a page. Okay, let's see Jefferson. Jefferson, can you share number one? Puedes compartir la número uno, Jefferson. Number one. Is making my phone say. Repeat it, please. Number one. She's making many phone say. Phone calls, okay, phone calls. All right, thank you, Jefferson. Uh, so number one is, she makes many phone calls. El makes, le falta la SE, right? She makes many phone calls. Okay, let's see number two. Uh, Yesenia, oh, Yesenia is not here. Uh, let's see Nancy. Number two, Nancy. Sí, sería do, my boss, they and both the new rules. Excellent. My boss talks about the new rules. Con mayúscula al principio, right? With capital letter y el punto al final, okay, in the period. Thank you, Nancy. Let's see number three. Uh, let's listen to Juan Carlos. Number three. Juan Carlos, are you there? In the doesn't send reports to other companies. Excellent, that's very good. Cindy doesn't send reports to other companies. And the last one, number four. Let's see, um, Ana Abigail. Abigail, number four, please. He doesn't 
carry. Uh, carry say into the truck boxes. Okay, just change boxes. Boxes into the truck. Okay. Boxes into the truck. Yes. Okay. He doesn't carry boxes into the truck. Él no lleva cajas dentro del camión. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Abigail. Thank you very much. All right. So you have these sentences on this part. Por aquí tenemos estas, estas oraciones. Look. Uh, now, this is the topic. So the topic is the simple present, but using... Uh, using these pronouns, right? Using she, he, and Cindy, right? Cindy is replacing she. Cindy, in este caso, está reemplazando a she, a ella, Cindy. My boss, mi jefe, puede reemplazar a él o a ella, okay? Because it's my boss. Puede ser mi jefe o mi jefa, right? And it, para hablar de una cosa en singular. All right. And we have the, the examples here, so please. Look at the examples. Example number one, she makes many phone calls. Number two, he carries boxes into the truck. Number three, Cindy sends reports to other companies. Number four, it helps workers be on time. Puede ser hablando de un reloj, ¿verdad? De un reloj de pared. So it, reemplaza el reloj. It helps workers be on time, yeah? Number five, my boss talks about the new rules. So as you can see, as you can see, como pueden ver, as you can see here, um, there is something important, right? There is something important. What? The letter, the letter, sorry, here. Uh, so what's important here is the letter S. Lo que es importante aquí es la letra S. Look, this is important. So in affirmative, in affirmative, in affirmative, we put a letter S on the verb. Le ponemos una S al verbo, depending on the verb, dependiendo del verbo. Cuando usamos she, he, Cindy, Juan Carlos, it. Yeah? And now check this out. I will stop sharing. Voy a dejar de compartir por un momento eso y le voy a compartir una pizarra. I will share a screen, okay? Now listen. Uh, a board, sorry. I will share a board. So listen, on this board, let me clear it. Just let me clear here. Okay, listen. Uh, I have some verbs here. For example, the verb um, try. The verb, el que les daba, por ejemplo, de responder correos, reply. All right? ¿Qué hago con estos verbos? What do I do with these verbs? Si estoy usando el he, el she, or it. What do I do? Ah, I kill the letter Y. Quito la letra Y. And I say, for yes. example, tries. 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 he tries. tries. She tries or it tries. ¿Qué hago con re reply de responder? Reply an email. The same, lo mismo. Re reply. So I kill the letter Y. Voy a eliminar la letra Y y digo replies. Okay? So do you know any other verbs like this? ¿Conocen otros verbos como estos? Play. Play. Ah, this is important. Okay. Right. This is important. Play. Alguien dijo play. El play para ese no aplica. Solo le pongo ese. Plays. ¿Por qué? Porque el play Va precedido de una vocal. Esa Y va precedida de una vocal. Así que si, si termina en Y, pero hay una vocal antes, solo le pongo la S. Place. Pero oh. si se fijaron, el, el, el verbo... Hold on. El verbo try iba precedido por una consonante. It was preceded by a consonante. Yeah? Okay. So what other verbs do you have? ¿Qué otros verbos tienen como este? What other verbs do you have like this? Cry. 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 Yes. Buy. Buy. Ah, buy. Pero en buy tenemos la misma circunstancia. Look. Ah, una, una vocal. Una vocal. Así que solo le ponemos ese. Buys. Pero aquí miren si sí, tenemos una consonante. Cry. So we say. Cries. Yeah. Dry. Dry. 
like dry de secar, dry. Yes, the same, dry, you say, dries. She dries the clothes, ella seca la ropa, she dries the, the clothes. All right, and now I want to speak about other verbs. Quiero hablarles de otros verbos también. Los terminados, los que terminan en o. Do and go, for example. Do is hacer, and go is ir. What do I do with these verbs? ¿Qué hago con estos verbos? Agregar es. Ah, exactly. Si termina en o, le agrego es. Does and goes. Yeah? Example, she goes, she goes to... Teacher, ¿y cuándo se le va a poner la ES? Cuando termine en O. Do, for example, and go. Tenemos dos verbos, do y tenemos el, el go. Cuando termine en O. When it finishes in O. ¿Ya? Yeah? Teacher, pero si está go... Pero si, ¿por qué se la tengo que agregar? Es una regla gramatical. It's a rule. It's a rule. Ah. Es una regla. Es en, recuerden que esto es, estamos hablando de tercera persona para los pronombres she, he, and it. Que en vez del she puede ser un pronombre, eh, perdón, un nombre de una chica. Puedo decir Nancy, por ejemplo. En vez de he, podría decir Juan Carlos o Jefferson. En vez de it, puedo decir the computer or the dog. For example. Mm -hmm. Okay, so any other question? Alguna otra pregunta? Any other question? So, review. Pues puedo decir, I go, y ella le voy a decir, she goes. Exactly, exactly. I go to the park, for example. Pero cuando digo ella, I say, she goes to the park. Okay, so we studied three rules, right? Estudiamos tres, pero, tres reglas, solo para repasar. Los que terminan en Y, try, por ejemplo, los que terminan en O, y los generales, en the general ones, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, uh, one is right, y los generales, que uno puede ser right. A esto solo se les pone, I will change, I will try to change color, let me see. Voy a tratar de cambiar color. Right, goes, and here, digo, tries. So, any question about this? Alguna pregunta? Any question about this? Eh, teacher, en este caso, de esos verbos, ¿hay algún tiempo en específico? Por decir algo, pasado, presente, futuro. Eh, yes. T Todos los verbos tienen tiempo pasado, presente y futuro. Pero en este caso, solo estamos, estamos estudiando el presente simple. Only the simple present. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. In this, you know, so, this today... We will focus only on the simple present. Estamos enfocados solo en el presente simple. Only in the simple present. So do you have any other question? ¿Tiene alguna otra pregunta? Any other question? So these examples are in positive. All right? Don't forget. These examples are in positive. Estos ejemplos están en positivo. These examples are in positive. Now, listen. Check this out. Now, check this out. Revisemos esto. Look. For the negative, I say doesn't, doesn't, right? So for the negative, I say doesn't, 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 doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't, he doesn't, Cindy doesn't, he doesn't, or my boss doesn't. Que my boss puede ser él o ella, right? Yeah. Now, what difference do you see the verb? ¿Qué diferencia mira el verbo ahora? Que está en presente. Is that, exactly, sí, la S. Ah, that's la important. S. So, cuando está en negativo ya no lleva la S, miren. El verbo va normal. The, the verb is normal. Yeah, so that's important. So, la S va a ir solo en positivo, only in positive. In negative, you don't put the S. En negativo no vamos a poner la S. We don't put the S in negative, yeah? So, I say, she doesn't make many phone calls. He doesn't carry boxes into the truck. Cindy doesn't send reports to other companies. He doesn't help workers be on time. And my boss doesn't talk about the new rules. All right. Now, in general, we, we, we studied positive and negative statements with he, she, it in the simple present. Do you have any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Yeah. 
¿Qué significa it helps workers be on time? It helps workers be on time. Ayuda a los trabajadores para que estén a tiempo. It helps workers be on time. Yeah. So any question? Or there are no questions. Remember, en, el, en lo que estudiamos ayer para I, you, we y they, usábamos el doesn't o el don't. For negative. Don't. Don't. We use don't. 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 Usábamos el don't. don't. No era el doesn't, el don't para negativo. Ok, perfect. So uh, if there are no questions, si no hay preguntas, if there are no questions, we can do one activity. Vamos a hacer una actividad. We are going to do one activity to practice. All right. So listen, uh, on, let me share this. On page 22, en la página 22, on page 22, exercise number five, ejercicio número cinco, exercise number five, you have some sentences and you have some verbs in parentheses, right? Positive and negative. You have some verbs in parentheses, positive and negative. So you need to complete the sentences using the correct form of the verb. Van a completar las oraciones usando la forma correcta de ese verbo. For example, number one, how would it, how would it look? ¿Cómo quedaría? How would it look? Number one. He orders everything exactly. in the office. He orders. He orders everything in the office, all right? In the office. In the office. So continue with number two, three, four. Aquí, one and one, hay un mistake, okay? There's a mistake. So continue with the others. Continuemos con las demás, please. Continue with the others, please. It's on page 20, let me see, 20, 22. 22. Está en la página 22. It's on page 22, exercise five, okay? So let's move, please. Vamos a completar. Go and complete on your notebook, please. En su cuaderno, on your notebook, please. Page 22, right? Yes, page 22. Yes, let me check here. Yes, page 22, exercise number five. Remember, if it has not, si tiene el not, that means it's negative, all right? Si tiene not, and the verb in parentheses, it's negative, yeah? Not and the verb in parentheses, it's negative. It's a negative sentence or statement.
Teacher, para compartir la pantalla, es que hay dos que no las veo bien. Por favor. Ok, let me start. Ya, yeah, tell me, Amber. En el caso de la segunda, as. Ya. Yeah. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se pondría? No, no entiendo eso. But, uh, as is a, the, the verb means preguntar, right? But look, it's Amy and Teresa. Amy and Teresa is plural, right? It's not he or she. Y si no es he or she, ¿Qué vimos ayer? ¿Se le ponía S o no se le ponía S? Do we put S or we don't put S? Al verbo. No es tercera so persona. No, porque es Amy y Teresa. Es como decir they. they. Amy y ah. Teresa. Ajá, ellas. Amy y Teresa. So it's like they. Ajá, the pronoun they. So and the verb is ask. We don't S. We don't put S, exactly. No le ponemos S. So the verb is in its base form. El verbo va en su forma base. The verb is on the base form. And as is the base form. Yeah? Y si fuera tercera persona, ¿cómo se pronunciaría con S al final? Asks. Asks. En ese caso no necesitaríamos colocarle el R. No. No. Uh, ahorita estamos ya en el presente simple, ya no estamos con el verbo to be. Present simple. El aquí el verbo sería ask. Ask. Ya no sería el are o el amo, el is. No. Aquí ya va el ask directamente. Okay, let's check because we have one more activity. Tenemos una actividad nada más. We have one more activity. Okay, let's see number one. Okay, number one. Number one, it's he orders everything in the office. Orders with S, con S, with S, right? Let's see number two. Okay, let's listen to 
Two, 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 two. Let me see. Wendy Natalie. Okay, Wendy Natalie. Can you share number two, please? Number two, Amy, la número dos. Um, Amy, no, Amy. Eh? Yes, Amy, Amy and Teresa. And Teresa asks for the signature every every Friday. Every Friday. Friday. So, no es, right? No cambia. It doesn't change. El verbo no cambia. The verb doesn't change. No, all right. Yeah, it's okay. It's perfect. Thank you, Wendy Natalie. So the example is Amy and Teresa ask, no es, right? Sin S, for the signatures every Friday. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see here. Let's listen to Jennifer with number three. Helen. Um, Helen doesn't call the design department on weekends. Okay, that's perfect. That's pretty good. Helen doesn't call the design department on weekends. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. And let's see number four. Let's listen to Luis Ricardo. Number four. She cleans our desk in the morning. In the mornings. Excellent. So cleans. Clean. Cleans with S, right? With S. Yeah. All right. So she cleans uh, our desks our in desk. the mornings. Morning. Okay? In the mornings. Okay. Thank you. That's very good. Thank you, Luis Ricardo. Let's see number. Aquí se supone que es la número cinco, pero parece como número uno en el material otra vez, right? So just it's I. Okay. Liz with the things we have. Okay. Let's see number five. Roxana. Dice, I write a, a list with the thing we need at night. A.M. A.M. A.M., all right, yeah. I write. So the verb doesn't change. El verbo no cambia. Right. The verb doesn't change. Roxana, the verb doesn't change? No. Okay, no. Okay, the verb doesn't change. El verbo no lleva ningún cambio. Write, porque uso el I. I write. No lleva eso, right? No S, all right? Good, thank you very much. Excellent, thank you, Roxana. And let's see the last one, Mario, right? This is a little bit more complicated. Es un poco más complicado, number six. Okay, let's give number six to, <laughs> to Nelson. Number six, Nelson. Okay. Okay. Mario does not, does not keep a record on the on the managing this he buys. He buys. El buys lleva eso, right, Nelson? He buys. Buys, buys. Lleva exactly. eso, sí. Yeah, okay. It's excellent, Nelson. Buys. That's very good. It's excellent. That's very good. También. Okay, so Mario does not or doesn't. Mario doesn't keep a record of the merchandise he does not. buys. Does not or doesn't is okay, Nelson. Buys. Mm -hmm. Cualquiera de los dos, does not or doesn't, okay? La forma corta o la forma larga, it's okay. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Very good, muy bien, very good. All right, so we have 12 minutes. Tenemos 12 minutos, we have 12 minutes. But before the next activity, I don't know if you have a question. Antes de que vayamos a la última actividad, do you have any question, alguna pregunta? Do you have any question about the topic? Teacher, la, la, la número seis, Yes. Se traduciría Mario no mantiene un récord en su máquina de trabajo. No, no, no. no. Récord de mercadería. Uh -huh. Merchandise is mercadería. Merchandise is mercadería. Merchandise. Mm -hmm. Merchandise. Mm -hmm. Merchandise is mercadería. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's Mario no guarda o no mantiene un récord de la mercadería que él compra. He buys. Ok. He buys, que él compra, ¿ok? Yeah, ok. Uh, any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Any other question? Record es como registro. Un registro, ya. Yeah. It's ok, registro. It's a record. Eh, bueno. No questions? Oh, signature. Bien. En la oración número dos. ¿Qué signatures? Amy and Teresa ask for the signatures every Friday. In, in number two, Firma. 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 firmas, firmas, exactly. So signatures in this case is 
firmas, signatures, okay? Signatures is firmas in number two, okay? Any other question? No? Okay, now please uh, listen. Uh, we will go to breakout rooms and you will prepare a conversation, okay? You will prepare a conversation to present to the class. And for this, we have 10 minutes. This is one example about the conversation you will prepare. So the conversation can be kind of like this. Puede quedarles más o menos así la conversación. Like this. You have some, like, some information. For example, it can be, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm Bernardo Martinez. Oh, I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? And then you do the activities, las actividades que hace en la semana. I check email. I check the merchandise. I check production. Oh, what about you and your partner? ¿Qué hay de ti, tu compañero? We, nosotros hacemos esto, esto. Okay, you mentioned the activities, okay? So here, we are recycling activities. Aquí vamos a reciclar actividades para escribir una conversación. Yeah? So any doubt about this? This is on page, the same, on page 22. Siempre está al final de la página 22. It's at the end of page 22. So do you have any question about the conversation que van a crear? ¿Alguna duda acerca de esa conversación que van a crear? Any doubt? It's about activities. Es acerca de actividades. But this time it's a conversation. Yeah? Solo que se lo vamos a hacer con nombres de nombres nuestros. Yes, with your information, con su información. With your information. Real information. Okay? Real information. Okay. Información real. Real information. Yeah? Okay. So you will work in pairs. Van a trabajar en pareja. Si veo que queda alguien solo, lo voy a mover de room a otro room para que tenga equipo. Okay? Yeah? Okay. All right, let's go to work. We have eight minutes. Tenemos ocho minutos para trabajar. We have eight minutes to work. Okay, let's go. Check. It's all. 
We check the quality of the product. La calidad del producto. Nosotros revisamos la calidad del producto. Ajá. We check. Sí. The product. We check the quality sí. of product of the product or of the, the product, product. Mm -hmm. and I no, te, te sincero, no, no he escuchado al 100 en la clase. Hago voy el equipo, o sea, no ah, sé okay. si me puedes ayudar ahí también. Va, igual aquí está el teacher. I will assign no someone else for you. Te voy a asignar a alguien más para que trabaje contigo porque Luis Alejandro se me olvidaba. Luis Alejandro está solamente viviente ahorita porque está trabajando. Okay, I will okay. assign someone else for you. Vamos a asignar a alguien más. Let me go. Oh. Let me do it. Déjame hacerlo. Let me do it. Yeah. Mejor te moveré a ti. Mejor te moveré a ti porque no hay... Todos están en parejas. ¿Ok? okay. Muy bien. Ahí con, con Brenda eh, decía este iba a ser yo la A y a la B, pero donde dice ver I have a question, dice what do you do on weekdays? Entonces como ella me está contestando a mí, o yo le estoy más bien preguntando a ella es lo que ella hace en la semana. Uh -huh. okay. Vaya Brenda, ¿qué me dijo que sí? I want, I, I, I'm sorry, I clean the okay. doors and the window every day. I sanitize the corridors. I clean the supervisor's office every day also. And I clean the the maintenance office every day and I show out the garbage uh, two twice in the day every day take out okay. <clears throat> take out the garbage take out the garbage take Sacar la basura. out the garbage. Take out the garbage. Okay. okay. Y, y Sorry. Corredor, ¿cómo se dice, Bernardo? You can say corridor or you can say hall. But you better say corridor. 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 Okay. Corridor. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, ahí les mandé a Juan Carlos porque no tenía nadie con quien hacer la conversación, okay? Ahí lo hubiera dejado él solo. <laughs> no. Impossible. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Maybe you can create only one conversation. So, I'm going to take the seat and can present it. You decide who will present. Okay? Brenda, yeah, can I present it? Ah, okay. Perfect. Yeah, so, you're only a listener. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue practicing. Continue. Continue. Okay. And uh, what about you and your partner? No, ya dije, no hay, hay que agregarle. Tres y luego contesta el segundo cómo va a terminar la conversación. Ajá, 
sería he, hello, how are you? Hello, I am I am a number. I have a question. What, what do you do on what? on weekdays? Uh -huh. I work in the service centers. In in the service. I work in the service centers. En un centro de servicio. Ajá. What about what about and you the partners? The partners. Sí. We answer many Call. phone calls. Call. Uh -huh. She arranges home service. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok. Y bueno, para, para la ya ir la terminando. Quiero mm. ver. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Podríamos ponerle, porque aquí ya le está diciendo, nosotros contestamos muchas llamadas, ella programa servicios a domicilio. Eh, nosotros contestamos muchas llamadas, ella programa servicios a domicilio. Ay, ¿cómo tenemos que terminar la conversación, eh, teacher? Para no dejarle... Porque si, por ejemplo, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Um, I have a question. Dice, what do you do on weekend day? Weekday. Entonces contesta Abigail, I work in the service center. What about you and your partner? Ah, porque otra podría ser eh, como una cuestión. Eh, la de todos los días trabajan. Ay, ¿Cómo sería entonces? Sería every day they work. Every, every day you work. They work. They work. Sorry, uh, maybe here you can say do for the question. Do they work every day or do you do. work every day? Do. At the beginning, para la pregunta usamos el do. Do ah, they sería, work every day? Do they work? Uh -huh. Do, do they, they work, work every day? They work every day. Yes, every they do day. or no, they don't. La respuesta. The answer. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I do. No, yes, they do. Si sí, sí, la pregunta they es con they, ajá, you answer sí, with sí. they, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Work every day. They do. Eso sería como... Mm, ah. Yes, they do. Y entonces, ¿cómo termina la conversación? <laughs> Hello, how are you? Maybe you can say, uh, oh, thank you for the information. All right, thanks ah. for the information. Ah, you're welcome. Okay, goodbye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Entonces, ahora yo le pregunto y Abby contesta. Hello, okay. how are you? Solo terminemos la idea, thanks. Bye, bye, Thanks. For the information. Y de ahí termino. Bye. Bye. Ah, yo sí termino. Bye. Hello, how are you? Hello, I am Abigail. I'm fine. O sea. I have a question. Ajá, uh -huh, yo, I have a question. What do you do on the day? I work in the service centers. What, what about uh, you and your partner? We answer many phone calls and she arranged home service. Uh, do you they work every day? Yes, they do. Thanks for information. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. No.
Aquí estamos, creo que el teacher no se ha conectado aún. I am, I am, I am sorry for breaking you in, all right. I am sorry for breaking you in. I am sorry for interrupting you. All right, so, uh, so time is over. It's, uh, it's basically, it's, it's time, all right? Es hora, it's time. And well, uh, I can see, him. let me see one. All right, so um, we will make, we, I mean, we will do, ya estoy confundido con el do y el make, como estuvimos hablando, we were speaking about that. All right, but you do presentations. So tomorrow, uh, we will do the presentations, okay? Tomorrow we will do the presentations of the conversation you have. Did you finish? Terminaron? Did you finish? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So, um, oh my God, time really flies. El tiempo vuela. Time really flies. Okay. So the class is over. La clase uh, ha terminado. The class is over. And I, ya, I will just pass the attendance. Bueno, solo verificaré la asistencia rápidamente. Let me see here. Who is not connected quickly? Okay, I will pass it. It's better, I think. Abigail? I'm here. Brenda? I'm here. Tal vez todos tienen activado ya el micrófono para que rápido me digan, I'm here, and we do it quickly, okay? Edgar? I'm here. Ember? I'm here. Hazel? I'm here. Jacqueline? I'm here. Jefferson? I'm here. Jennifer. I'm here. Jessica. I'm here. Juan Carlos. I'm here. Loida. I'm here. Luis Alejandro. Oh, he's connected. Luis Ricardo. I'm here. Maria Elena. I'm here. Nancy. Nancy. ¿Qué le pasó a Nancy? What happened to Nancy? Ahí está. Ah, okay. Uh, Nelson. I am here. Roxana. I am here. Wendy. I am here. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Jocelyn estaba conectada. She was connected. Okay. So, ah, uh, so. Thank you for joining the class. Gracias por unirse a la clase. Thank you for joining the class and see you tomorrow. Listen, ahorita solo quien va a la, solo rápido, quien va a la sesión privada, the private session is Jessica Lourdes. So we have Jessica Lourdes today. Así que yes. Jessica Lourdes, yeah, yes, right. Okay, so, um, so thank you everyone for joining today and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget the homework, que no se les olvide la tarea, okay? Okay. All right. Good, Good night. night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take night. care. Sure. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Lourdes. I see you. <laughs> Bye. 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 All right, Jessica Lourdes. Now, it's, now it's, we have Luis Alejandro, but he's not, he's only a listener, okay? So, <laughs> okay. That, but don't worry. All right, Jessica. Uh, so we have uh, this session is, or this private session is for you, okay? So maybe you have questions about pronunciation, about grammar, about anything concerning to English, anything. So, do you have any 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 specific question about the class or class? Oh, ahorita me salgo ahí, disculpe. No problem, no problem, Luis Alejandro, no problem. Ahí disculpe, Felipe. Okay, good night. Uh, refuerzo con lo del lo que vimos ahora de los verbos. Okay. Por ejemplo, eso sí, creo que sí me me confundo un poco cuando es llevan s, cuando se les quita. Las reglas gramaticales que dijo ahora. Uh -huh. Ok, perfect. Ok, uh, I will share screen with you. Eh, voy a compartir pantalla. I will share screen. Ok. Ok, listen. Listen up. Escucha. Ok, listen up. Just let me move this. Ok, look. Um, yesterday we studied some pronouns. Ayer estudiamos algunos pronombres, right? We studied some pronouns. ¿Qué pronombre estudiamos ayer? We studied el, el I. I. Hold on. 
I, you, we, and, and they. Ok. So, para estos verbos no cambia el verbo. No cambia, no lleva S, no hablamos nada de la S, ok? For example, you can say um, in this one, uh, I write, I write reports, for example, I write reports. Write, va a ir lo mismo para you, para we, y para they. Okay. Yeah? No lleva S, it doesn't have S, el verbo aquí no lleva S. The same, si queremos hacer el negativo, igual. Aquí después del we, you, they, voy a poner el, el don't. Don't. For example, um, we don't write reports. No escribimos o no hacemos reportes. We don't write reports. So, cuando hablamos de los pronombres I, you, we, or they, o de cualquier sujeto plural, sujetos en plural, cuando te digo sujetos en plural estamos hablando de Podría ser, por ejemplo, the students, los estudiantes. The students mm -hmm. lleva S, S students. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál el verbo no lleva S? Porque es un plural. Okay? So okay. the students write reports sin S. Okay. Porque es un plural. Okay? Es, es un sujeto en plural. Yeah? Okay. Now, vamos a lo que vimos hoy. Pero en cambio, el he, el she y el it... O el he podría ser sustituido por un nombre de un chico, por ejemplo, Bernardo. En vez de decir he, él, digo Bernardo. O el she, podríamos decir Jessica. Okay, y fácilmente sustituyo el she. O el it, podría ser el perro, the dog. ¿Ya? Yeah? Uh -huh. En este caso, como es tercera persona en oraciones afirmativas, le ponemos ese al verbo. Ok, now. Entonces, si es una oración afirmativa, voy a decir... Y aquí voy a cambiar el, el color para que veamos. Writes. He writes. Re. Words. Ah, entonces la pregunta es por qué lleva ese el verbo. Porque es tercera persona. En afirmativo le ponemos ese cuando usamos he, she, it. En presente simple. Cuando estamos hablando en presente simple. Presente simple, simple. ajá. Exactly. In present simple or simple present. Y ya sabemos que el presente es simple para hablar acerca de rutina, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Algo que hago repetidamente o usualmente, ¿ya? Ok. Ok. Um, también puedo tener el verbo reply. Ok. She reply. El verbo normalmente sería reply. Right? Así, reply. Pero como estoy usando tercera persona, ¿qué voy a hacer entonces? Oh, lo, como estoy usando tercera persona, lo que voy a hacer es, básicamente, ponerle, ¿qué? E-S. I-E-S. I-E-S, right? I-E-S, all right? And I will say, y voy a decir entonces, ya se lo amigo bien, solo déjame, déjame buscar acá. Se congeló. Ajá. Ah, no, aquí está. Replies. Voy a decir entonces replies, lo que estudiamos ahora. Replies. Reports. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah, re ¿Qué es replies? Contesta. Okay. Contesta reportes. Ah, o podríamos decir en vez de reports, podríamos decir mejor emails. Ok. She replies. Oh my God. Ok, let me look here. Like this. Mejor digamos emails, que son correos electrónicos. She replies emails. Ella contesta correos electrónicos. ¿Ok? Depende de la regla. Imagínate que digo, ¿qué? Okay, Cindy. O podría decir Jessica. Jessica. Es como que diga chill, right? Y uso el verbo go. Pero como dijimos que si terminaban en O, ¿qué íbamos a hacer? Eh, se le agrega S. Digamos agregar ES. Goes. Jessica goes. Tú. To the park. This is only one example. Es solo, solo un ejemplo. In the morning, for example. Jessica goes to the park in the, in the morning. Yeah? Okay. Es solo en tercera persona que le ponemos la S o la S. En negativo ya no lleva la S. 
¿Ok? Cuando hacemos una oración negativa, ¿puedo borrar? ¿Can I erase? Sí. Yes. Sí. Cuando hacemos una oración negativa, ya no lleva la S. ¿Por qué? Porque usamos el... Das. El das. das. ¿Cómo podría ser también el das? El das not. ¿La forma larga o la forma corta? Así que ya no le pongo ese el verbo. She doesn't write reports. Ya no lleva S. She doesn't go to the park. Ya no lleva la S. Okay. Porque ahí tengo el verbo auxiliar das. que es el doesn't o el does not. Ok. Ok. Ya, yeah. ¿estamos bien? ¿Are we clear? Sí, no. Perfect, teacher. Ok, perfect. Y lo otro que me dijiste, me parece que me dijiste algo más. Um, quiero ver. No, creo que era lo de las reglas de ahora. Es cuando, ah, cuando se le agrega, por ejemplo, que usted mencionó el tema de cuando terminan en ye, creo que, o en, oh, o en consonante yeah. o, o vocal. Ajá, Ajá, sí, sí. Por ejemplo, teníamos el verbo play. Le dije Ajá. que a este solo se le ponía la S. ¿Por qué les dije? Porque, te, porque iba una vocal antes de la Y. Una vocal antes de la Y. Y así hay otros, otros verbos similares a ese, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, el verbo pray, que significa orar. Lo mismo. Solo le pongo la... La S. La S. Porque lo antecede una vocal. Pero, ¿qué pasa si es... antecede una consonante? Como el verbo try, que es intentar. Ah, mira, aquí antecede una... Consonante, ahí sí aplico la, la regla. Y entonces voy a decir. Tries. tries. Quito la tries. Y, y le pongo IS, tries. Ahí entra el verbo reply, el, que, el, que, el del otro ejemplo, de contestar Ajá. correos, reply emails. Uh -huh. Pero y este siempre, esta regla se usa eh, solo cuando es el presente simple. Correctamente, cuando estamos hablando de rutinas. When we Bad are talking routine. about routines. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah. Perfecto. Ok. Sí. Eso era todo, creo yo, teacher. Ok. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. It's okay. You know that we are here to help. Estamos aquí para apoyar. Thank you. All right. Thank you and good night. Good night, teacher. All right. Goodbye. Bye.